Buenas noches, bienvenidos a la conferencia de prensa de la Sub-20 Intercontinental 2023 con el equipo de Aceta al Camar. Antes de empezar la conferencia, apenas un aviso, solamente los detectores de derechos pueden hacer transmisiones en vivo de video, ¿ok? Gracias a todos. Si quieren preguntar, levanta las manos y nuestro amigo acá va a llegar con su con el micrófono. Estamos junto al entrenador Hans Sietzkerman y el jugador Homer Jardim de Aceta al Camar. So, ¿Quién quiere preguntar, por favor? If you can put the translation. Okay. Hey, I need translation. Oh, thank you. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Muy buenas noches a ambos. Bueno, fue un partido bastante parejo, jugó al campeón de la Libertadores contra el campeón de la Champions. Podía haber sido para cualquiera de los dos, pero vos pensás que influyó que vinieron al estadio que tiene la mejor hinchada del mundo. ¿Sintieron la diferencia en eso? Que Boca tiene el jugador número 12 que no la van a encontrar en ninguna parte del mundo, solo acá en esta cancha. It uh, really was impressive to see uh, this kind of uh, fan base. Um, I really respect Boca Juniors a lot uh, for that. And uh, I also think that they were a big support for the team today. Buenas tardes, Tian. Te habla Pilar Blanco para el 70 gol de Vestuario. Bueno, el equipo lo vi que salió con mucha actitud durante todo el partido. Más allá de resultados, ¿se dio el partido que esperaban? Uh, for, I think it was the game that we could, uh, that we could expect. Uh, because we knew it would be a very intense game uh, with a lot of uh, duels. Uh, I uh, thought we would be able to uh, be more ourselves, but uh, uh, we weren't. Enough. So um, yes, we expected this kind of game, uh, but we didn't get to the level that we can. Thanks. Sí. Bueno, eh, quería preguntarte principalmente eh, cuál fue la razón eh, de la derrota. Sí, también influyó mucho en el, la exigencia física, ¿no? De ambos equipos con salidas eh, prematuras debido a lesiones y para acá para el arquero. Quería preguntarle eh, cuál fue el factor en el que jugó en contra en la tanda de penales. I can uh, react to your question about the physical preparation. I think we did all we could to prepare us as good as possible, uh, also to deal with the jet lag, for example. And there were uh, a few players that weren't uh, at 100 percent fitness because they came back from an injury so we knew uh, it was a little bit of a game gamble uh, to uh, put them on but uh, they gave all they have and uh, I really respect that so they helped the team in the way they could yeah I think uh Boca defense, of course, and we normally do our own thing, and I do my own thing, but sometimes uh, it's like gambling, you know? So I think, um, yeah, we do our best, but it's not, um, it was not for us today. Hola, buenas noches. Acá Federico Cañete para el Medio Especie. Eh, consultarles. ¿Qué, ¿Qué experiencia se lleva del fútbol sudamericano, de, de la oportunidad de jugar en un estadio tan mítico como la Bombonera? 
¿Y eh, cómo, cómo se sintieron? Bueno, recién decía, del, del clima, del cambio horario, todo. Eh, ¿Cómo se sintieron eh, física y mentalmente jugando en un estadio tan imponente como este? Muchas gracias. Para los dos la pregunta, ¿no? Para los dos. Sí, sí, para los dos. I think we uh, we did a good job how we uh, adapt to the climate and to the jet lag thing. Um, we were really impressed by the fans, of course. Uh, it's uh, like I said before, an unbelievable fan base you have, and uh, they support in a way. I think nowhere in Europe you see it in this way, so intense, uh, so much passion. So the players have a very, very, uh, very good experience for the uh, rest of their careers, because when you can play in this kind of circumstances, then you can play everywhere. He asked for you too. Yeah, I think it was a pleasure to play here at uh, the age we are, of course. I think we can take it to his whole career. This kind of game, this kind of fan base, I think it's an amazing club, amazing nation. And yeah, I think we uh, learn a lot about this uh, game. And I think about the whole stadium, everything, I think. So I think it's a uh, yeah, good thing for us, whole career, for everyone. Thanks. Más, una más. Tiam, Ron Hayden, buenas tardes. Quiero preguntarle a cada uno, Iván Levato de Rock and Roll, para Iam. Eh, ¿Cuál es la experiencia de venir a, a Argentina? ¿Cómo la pasaron en estos días viviendo acá en Argentina? ¿La estadía? ¿Qué sensaciones se llevan del país? ¿Y qué lecciones de vida les pueden servir a ambos para el futuro? Bueno, well, uh, el main focus de nuestro estar aquí fue training y uh, adapting to the time uh, zone. Uh, we also saw a little bit of the city, of course, we really liked it, but the main focus is always on trying to be at our best level uh, in football. Um, I think uh, for us it's very important to know that we, as uh, not as a, a, a big club as you are, uh, that we are uh, very strongly now in our belief that we can reach to this kind of stage I think we really need to be proud on with what we achieved with each other and um, yeah today it ended up in a draw and uh, I think we also could have won the uh, penalty uh, uh, thing but uh, to, to be in such circumstances uh, and to be uh, competitive with our team that is a very very good lesson for life. Acá, hola. Eh, Martín. Ah, sí, se llama la máquina de juguetes y la máquina de juguetes. Sí, creo que Argentina es un país de fútbol, por supuesto. Hay muchas leyendas aquí. Así que creo que fue una buena experiencia estar aquí. Es una larga vuelta para nosotros. Así que creo que hemos aprendido mucho sobre las vueltas, sobre los días que estuvimos con nosotros. So uh, yes, I think it's a good experience for all of us, and uh, yeah, for whole career, I think. Las dos últimas, okay? Por favor, gracias. Martín entró para siempre Felipe Boca. Te quería contar a ambos cómo prepararon el partido, no solamente desde lo táctico, sino desde lo psicológico. Imagino que con el tema que hablaban recién del jet lag y demás fue difícil. También, bueno, más allá de lo táctico. ¿Cómo hace eso no solo el entrenador, sino los jugadores para venir a una cancha como esta de visitante? Muchas gracias. Well, uh, we we knew uh, that we uh, could expect uh, what we saw today. Uh, so we saw some footage uh, of matches, of course, not only technically but also about the behavior of the players because they're very intense, of course, and sometimes they cross the line. And we taught our players uh, to um, be stoic. Um, so just focus on the things that you uh, 
you can do uh, and don't don't do the same thing because it's not our nature to do that and uh, keep your head cool that was uh, psychological the approach and uh, tactically uh, we really knew about how they played uh, and we were uh, very good informed uh, so I think on that level we did some good things um, but yeah it was a draw yeah I think to prepare on the jet lag we had a whole presentation before so everyone knows what to do how you can avoid the jet lag and of course the stadium what he got except a lot of fans a lot of um, yeah I think everyone against us and I think a lot of us have played the stadium, but not like this. So that's what I say. It's like a good experience for everyone. And um, yeah, I think we could be proud to be here. We uh, watched some uh, footage about uh, Boca River and the crowd <laughs> to prepare. Yeah. Thanks. Aucho? Yeah, let's go. Cross for Boca Neto. Vimos que son los campeones de Europa y acá en Sudamérica se respeta mucho el fútbol europeo. Vemos que tienen una dinámica distinta. Y me gustaría saber qué los sorprendió hoy más que nada. ¿Qué es lo que prepararon sabiendo que se enfrentaban a un club sudamericano a un fútbol tan distinto como el europeo? Our, uh, to play football from our own identity. So we didn't adapt very much. Uh, we just uh, are always analyzing and see where the chances are, but always from the approach that we are playing our own kind of football. And um, of course you have to uh, know where the strengths and the weaknesses are of a team, uh, but always we try to be ourselves. Yeah, I think everyone knows about the South American football. It's more aggressive than in Europe. I think we are more tactically. But um, yeah, I think we have done, did our own thing. And sometimes you see the difference between uh, nations. And uh, yeah, I think everyone knows how Argentina played the World Cups. More aggressive than we know but, uh, in Europe. So yeah, I think that was the difference. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Gracias a todos. En breve empezamos con la conferencia.